Okay, now let's get started on the part four. It is, uh, we will talk in terms of agile shift as a framework. So, I mean, from the start, we have been talking essentially about four things uh, with respect to agile shift. We started talking about the VUCA word, the technology as an enabler, the disruptors, and of course, the vital delta. So Agile Shift as a framework, it kind of uh, presents a solution in response to the four aspects of VUCA technology, the disruptors and the Delta uh, to seek an enterprise agility. So both the RTO and the CTO, the run the organization and the change the organization people must coexist in a symbiotic relationship with multimodal working. So an organization wide perspective of transformation is then considered and every individual becomes responsible for both running and changing the organization. So having considered why we need a agile shift, it becomes very essential then to ask about, okay, we must now focus on the what and how of the agile shift. So if you have any questions, uh, please email to info at uh, oneworldtrading.com. There are three aspects of Agile Shift Framework. So that's very essential to understand the core of the Agile Shift Framework. Uh, the framework basically comprises of an enablement, enablement, uh, enablement, enablement of Agile ways of working. So how all parts of the enterprise must be in strategic alignment to ensure uh, a successful transformation. So every aspect of the organization is considered. Then comes the Agile Shift principles. So they are nothing but a fundamental rules that kind of uh, helps an organization in every circumstance. So what it means is, uh, so an organization operates with the current vision and strategy and set of resources and goals and tools. So over a period of time, those goals and uh, what you call uh, the objectives uh, will change based on the market trends and the market situations and their customer expectations. So in every aspect, these principles will help guide an organization to continue to achieve its goal, to continue to achieve uh, the co-creation of value. So that's what the core of the Agile Shift principles are. And then comes uh, the Agile Shift practices. So there are sort of practical approaches, uh, methods or techniques uh, that will bring real benefits to any team wishing to work in Agile ways. So primarily the framework would be about these three things. So it's made up of practices, principles, and uh, a way to enable uh, agile ways of working. So in terms of agile shift as a delivery approach, I mean, how do we actually uh, bring about this framework into operationalizing this framework? So there are three key roles. So one is the agile shift team, then there is an agile shift coach and there is an agile shift sponsor and how a team can perform more effectively or efficiently. So then there are agile shift workflows. So it's a cycle of iterative steps where the team works on short bursts followed by feedback and decision making. And then it is all in iterations. So agile shift iterations is what we call it. So it is the detailed look at the activities of within every or within each of these iterations. And of course, uh, Agile Shift emphasizes to adopt tools and techniques uh, in terms of being appropriate to help those Agile Shift initiatives. So this is a pictorial representation of the Agile Shift framework. So it is about increasing the pace of change, the role of technology, the delta and the disruptors. And then we have the Agile Shift framework, uh, what we are talking in terms of the roles, the workflow, the iterations, tools and techniques, which we just discussed. And of course, the Agile Shift delivery approach, it's in terms of set of principles, which enables agile ways of working across the organization and it adapts certain practices. So it answers the question why, what, and how. When we look 